What is going on guys? My name is Adam and I'm back with another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is going over how to add some energy, some intensity, and some more fast movement back into your videos. Today, we're going to be covering some effects and some transitions as well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Adam. I run a software company pretty much catered around video editing and creative effects for your videos, pretty much helping you speed up your editing time and add some cool effects to your videos. So this is actually going to be an updated version of a video and effect pack that I created in the past about three years ago. You'll see it on the screen right here. And you should have saw the effects, how they worked um, in the preview video before this. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and stay tuned. But if you're new here, welcome to the culture. I'm dropping new videos every week. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be updated um, when I drop a new video. And also hit that thumbs up button. That really helps me out a lot. So as you can see on my screen here, here's going to be the full version of the preset pack. Pretty much it's called the intensity effect pack. And I'll pretty much go over what you get um, in that pack in this video. If you're not interested in the full pack, no worries there. I'll have a free sample pack available for you guys to try out the presets. And that's going to be in the link in the description below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So what I have here, guys, is going to be um, a few clips where I have a person performing in a music video. As you can see, it's not a bad clip. He's just doing his thing. We could add more energy and intensity to this video. Same thing with this one. This dude's moving and vibing out, uh, but it could add a little bit more uh, intensity to the video. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install the preset pack. So what you'll do is you'll come up here to your effects panel. You go to presets, you go right click presets, and you go to import preset. And what you'll see here is we have the AKV intensity presets. Um, you'll be taken to a Dropbox link and then you'll just have to download it from there. So what you'll do, you just press intensity presets and then you press open. I'm not going to press open because I already have it downloaded right here. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and open it and you'll see effects, transitions, camera shakes, focus, pop out, bass bumps. And then for your transitions, you have bass bumps, camera shake, echo bump, hit and twitch transitions. So I'll go ahead and just show you guys. Um, pretty much a preview of what you're going to get and how to add some intensity to your videos. Um, let's go ahead and open up our camera shakes. And as you can see, here's going to be the effects that you can apply to add some intensity to your footage. So let's go ahead and apply the intense just to show you guys pretty much how it works. So I'm going to add that simple drag and drop easy as that. And we'll go ahead and play that back and see what you get. So now you have some intensity to that video. So let's go ahead and look at a, a jitter effect. So it's a more subtle version of it still looks good. And then also with this pack, if you go ahead and we'll just add jitter again, so you can see that moving, you can actually add some flash flickers or some dark flash flickers. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and apply that. And what you'll see, it pretty much adds some more intensity there. And obviously these are made for clips that are lasting, you know, about a second long. So I'll go ahead and bring that down um, just because it does mess with the keyframe. So I'll go ahead and play that back. So we'll go ahead and add the flutter back. You can see that a little bit. Let's actually do jitter. So as you can see, that's jitter. And we'll go ahead and add some flash flicker to that. And as you can see, the flash flicker effect in full effect right there. So that's how you can add some more simple intensity to your video. Here's actually a dark flicker. So, you know, it does the same thing there. So it's actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and show you a bass bump. These are actually pretty cool right here. So what I like to do is I just like to, you know, break out a little piece um, between our clips. So I'll just go ahead and make a cut right here um, and just have it maybe about there. So um, a couple, a few frames long, right? And we'll just drag on our intense shake and I'll just make it a fast shake. We'll just drag that on there and you'll see what that looks like right here. So it just adds, you know, an intense shake to it, an intense bass bump. Let's see, you can make it even longer. Just to see the full effect. And add some intensity to your video, right? So that's just an intense shake, intense bass bump. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you guys what a uh, normal one looks like. So we'll just do the slow one. So it's just slow bumps right there. Depends on the feel of your music video, obviously. So let me show you just a regular intense and we'll do medium. So just the intense bump without the shake. And then if you want um, intense with the shake, we'll make it slow. You'll see that the shake is there and the bump is there as well. So 
it's pretty simple to add some intensity and energy to your videos using this pack pretty much everything you can do just with a simple drag and drop so adding intensity energy shakes and bumps to your video um, these effects are honestly they're evergreen so they're pretty much timeless all music videos are pretty much going to be using shakes um, and bumps and adding energy to their video all just depends on the song right so you'll never go wrong with you know adding some simple shakes um, simple intensity effects to your video but guys that's going to be the end of this video if you guys enjoyed it go ahead and leave a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys um, thought of the video and what you guys want to see next and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace yeah.